Welcome to a Level 11 Tarot. I'm Danny, also known as RD, over on the No Crime, No Time channel. Might want to check that out. Link is below. I also have a Reiki Healing channel that might interest you as well. Links provided below. <clears throat> so this message is for whoever is responding to the title. So when I do the reading and I've completed it, I will pull the title out of it. I post that. And if you resonated with the title, this message could be for you. I had the need to clear the energy today because I was working on a very intense project before this. So I thought we'd do that together. And with that, we're just going to ring this bell. So if you have headphones on, you might want to turn them down or pull them off for just a moment. All right, with that, let's find out what this message is today. I was given this idea that um, there's something coming to light. There's some information being revealed. And I think it's going to snap you awake is what I'm getting. Like light a fire under your butt. Here we go. Oracle message, please. Ancestors speak. Give us the advice to start off with. This is where we are in cycle. Too many. Please just give me a few moments. Get your energy involved. Okay. Truth is being revealed as the right questions are asked. Exactly. November 24th on the calendar of 2021. But also that would mean that you have six, seven, eight. You have an eight for a reduction. Mercury enters Sagittarius winning. Gibeus moon cancer. Let's go ahead and continue. That's what I feel. There is definitely, you're starting to get like this bigger picture, if you will, of what really is going on. The truth is coming out. The truth is being revealed. That's what I said from the beginning of the reading. So let's see what this truth is. What will this truth? Okay, let's ask it differently. How will this truth progress us? How will this truth affect us and push us forward? Ancestors speak. There's just so much. It's almost like it's so much information. Okay, just give me a simple guidance, please. This is a lot of information that's going to be shared with you. Whether it comes from the 5D or somebody you know, might be a message email. It's just this information comes to you. It's undeniable. And um, it says luck is on your side. Positive outcome is likely. 1228 Jupiter enters Piscean, Pisces winning Crescent Moon Libra. All right. Let's go ahead and walk our way around the board. We're going to start in the Chakra Wisdom Tarot it is. That was a paper moon deck there. Chakra Wisdom Tarot. Let's get your energy. We're going to start in the east. When you wake up, you're manifesting with everything that you speak, you feel, and you think. And then we're going to move to the west when you put your head down on that pillow. All right. So right away, we have the nine of coins. Your energy on the board here. Very independent. This is strengthening you in some way. This knowledge brings a foundational. It just gives you a lot of strength. And it's something that you're very passionate about. This truth strengthens you. That's one thing for sure. Knight of Wands. Okay, we got quite a few cards here. So there's a... Uh, the. 
Ugh. <laughs> There's so much information to talk about. Okay. So what ancestors are saying is with the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the world is that you've been in a protective state, but you've been in this like overthinking process and that's ending because there's somebody coming in and it's a quick energy of passion that says, this is what's coming up. Here is something coming directly at you. And we're going to get a lot more information as we qualify and clarify. There is so much information going to be revealed and it's going to be like, you're going to be putting things in place that starts to make sense. Oh, this is why that happened. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I get this. I got this. And this Knight of Wands is a passionate offer from somebody that just scoots in, gives the message, and then they're out. I mean, they're around but they're in and out. They don't stay with you. This is just enough to bring you clarity. Show us a challenge. Options. It's going to put a lot of options in your mind. Might be confusing at first to be able to sort out how the events all fall into place. North Node, where we had it. Our best path. Show us the best path and the advice for the best path. King of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be the steady one. So, King of Wands is Cancer, Leo, and Aries energy. Hmm. We're definitely getting more details on this story. Absolutely. We're going to go right to Serendipity in the middle, where all this kind of collides in the middle of fate, destiny, and your contribution of what's being manifested here. So this King of Wands is a beautiful energy. This is a king. This is somebody that has their crap together. Um, you are going to be, I feel like you're going, maybe it was you almost on this subject where you were like in, out, in, out, and now you're on it because you have the information you need. Um, it came through really understanding something that was brought to you in clarity. Now the options have to be sorted out as to how this went down. But you're starting to understand it. And um, truth is just coming to you all at once. You're like, oh my God, yes. And then the next thing and the next thing, you're starting to see this. Holy crap, this is big. Okay, let's see what do we have here for serendipity. Ancestors, show us what's going on in the middle for for what our advice is with this information, this realization, this knowledge. Transmute. So I feel as though somehow you have to get this in order to present it and transmute the energy using the bigger picture. Because if you just sit and stew on it, it's going to create stagnant. So whether you write this information down in a format that can be understood, you organize it in a certain way, you need to get your ducks in a row, if you will, is what's been going on. And you're also going to need to take serious breaks um, to do things with nature. Think of the bee takes it to the collective, right? The bee always goes towards that queen, in a sense, um, and he's transmuting the energy to this Knight of Wands, or I'm sorry, King of Wands, correction, King of Wands. Yeah, you're going to have to sort it out, get the ducks in the row so that you can present it to the individual. I feel like you're intertwined, but you're um, an observer. It's like there's something, I can't explain this. Let's get some answers on the board. Yeah, we're going to go with this deck. Let's get this nine of coins. We're going to explain to us a little bit more about the mind concept. So where's the mind concept going here with illumination, clarity, and wisdom? Illumination. There's that nine of swords. You've got it twice. You're definitely losing sleep over this, trying to put the pieces together. But the clarity is you have knowing. You now know. 
can't make it up. This is right here in clarity. And it's the high priestess. She that knoweth but does not speak it. Because you're not speaking it, it's keeping you in your head. You need to transmute it. You definitely need to get this out of your head on a recorded device. Um, write journal. It's got to get out of your head and into the 3D. You're being urged to manifest this. Wisdom. This is very important, you guys. The moon. Yeah, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And you know that. But this is in your in your seventh house. This is in Libra. I'm trying to think. Seventh house. Let me look here. Marriage, commitment, relationships, partnerships, one-on-one -on -one relationships. <clears throat> it's what you're not seeing is this is affecting your life in a big, big way. Oh, the other phone's going off. Sorry about that. Might mean that time to pay attention. Seven of Cups in love, trust, and growth. <laughs> Look at you, Seven of Cupper. Yeah, you got the Nine of Swords double tapped, and then also you double tapped the Seven of Cups. So there is confusion. And that's what you're sorting out with this new knowledge. It's almost like you have to start the story over because of this knowledge. But you're not starting from square one. You get to take all the details and plug it into the new theory. Trust. You got the world cut. You're getting the same cards. Double tapping the world here. You can trust this cycle is over. This is the books are closed. You've learned everything you need to know to go forward. And I think that's what you have to do. You can't keep this quiet any longer. It's time to really get this out there and out of your head. You got a whole story for growth. So let's see what's going on here. Oh my God. So the Wheel of Fortune is what you have outgrown. You're moving forward. You have passed the test. The Acacia Record books are all open on the Wheel of Fortune. And so you've grown past what this old cycle was. You know who the liar, cheater, thief was. Identity's out there. And that's kept you now. You can no longer self-sabotage because you truly, clearly see who this is through your growth. You're willing to cooperate and work out this entire process you know and you're moving into this whole new perspective with the hanged man you're outgrowing this quick energy too i think you're like really going to take your time on this um it's about your health too you can't afford to put too much of a burden on yourself all at once so you want to make sure that this is very clear it's done in a way that can't be questioned um you might be doing a little bit of this research or whatever you're doing in almost a private way, secret, like trying to just clear up the confusion so that it doesn't mess up what you're trying to get out. This Knight of Swords, this Nine of Swords, and the World card, this in and out energy that put you in your head, <clears throat> closing this cycle introspection, dream, and experience in the physical world. Something's turned up. I feel like it was the Nine of Wands. Introspect, you've got the Nine of Wands. You're going to protect this. You've learned that this is something worth protecting, and you're not going to release this until you know. You got a little story here. Let's walk the talk. In your fifth house, it's your eternal child, if you will. Dream your perspective. Look at that. You are now fully committed to this and you are being protected divinely. Two major arcanas here. The Hierophant and Strength. In your perspective, you are, you are fully aware that because you are committed to this just, balanced reveal that the divine is protecting you. Like Danny in the lion's den. The biblical reference was that the man was thrown into the cave or cage with starving lions that had been starved for three weeks. And when they opened the door, um, he was sleeping with them fine. Your experience of this is that this is heartbreaking. 
So that's probably why you're taking your time with this is because the truth can be very painful, but the truth has to come out. So I want another card on this three of hearts, please. Three of swords. Oh, two of pentacles. It's so out of balance. It may even be the reverse of what you thought. Something flipped. It's something from your past that you believed is coming back. And with the chariot, you will be victorious with the emperor. So whoever, yeah, justice. There it is. I kept saying bring it into balance with justice. It's all going to come into play. Very just. You will win. Stay diligent to this truth that you feel is flipped. Um, it is a, it is from the past, but the, the thing is, is all these years, something has changed because it came in and it's saying another major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. Look at this. Strength, the Hierophant, um, the Chariot, the Emperor and Justice all came out right here which is your, your perspective, your experience, your knowledge, your knowing in the 3D physical world, you have justice reigning. Because this right here is somebody that's going to take charge of this. I feel like you're grabbing the reins. You're going to get things ready. And um, you're going to get the ducks in a row. This could be law. This could literally be a court of law. If you're facing a lawsuit of some kind, you are going to take the time to do this so thoroughly and you are guaranteed victory with that. Justice is on the table. This King of Wands, show me cleansing. Making a decision. You're looking at the world. Like, how will this affect all those around me? And you're choosing to go for the good of all those around you with the two. And this is a cleansing energy. You're just going for it. Pisces also on the board. Um, it's your 12th house. It is, I'm still trying to do this, the unseen realm, secrets. Your subconscious is saying, yeah, I'm doing this. I might feel stuck. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Renewal. Let's look at that. It is a renewed feeling of being left out in the cold because basically while you get your ducks in a row, you're really not able to express yourself and get a lot of people on this. So this is a sacrifice, if you will, in a sense to do what is right. You are going to definitely, definitely feel like you're the underdog. Let's get this purity. What is the outcome of this, please? We already see the outcome with justice there. And let's get this purity. What is the lessons and blessings? Blessings, please. Lessons and... Oh, my God. Can't make it up. Oh, could you get a better outcome, lovelies? Two major arcanas. So remember where I said you may feel left out. You're not left out. Because what's being purified... Is this truly healing energy? This is truly healing energy. And because of this, you might get some serious notoriety when this is all boiled down just because you were willing to do the work for the right intent, which is to get justice on the table. And Archangel Michael is here. I have goosies. Archangel Michael is here during this very tough time. And he's there with you foundationally and he's blending this information. Think of water as data, flowing information and he's freely flowing the information in both scenarios. This is your angels watching over you and this is the angel named Archangel Michael. So you just keep going. You just keep going. This might be so difficult. Like you feel like nobody really can possibly understand where you're coming from at this point because of this information you've gathered. So you've got to get it all in these in order and then you're going to present it somehow and it's just going to bring balance to the scales. That's why I say it could be actually court case. Transmute this information forward. Oh, I'm so excited. 
All right, lovelies, let's get some deserved blessings here. Good reading. Wow. Whoever this is for, you are doing it right. Dawn, new beginning comes right out on that. Strong nine of coins energy. This is how you're feeling. Like this has bring new life into you. It's like been this puzzle that didn't make any sense to you forever. And it hung on to you. It was like a toxic blanket. And you shed it. And you're stepping out into this new beginning. Let's see what your challenge is here to get some blessings, advice with these options. What? That literally flew across the room. Let me see if I can get it with my sock. Rainbow blessings. I always think of this as my grandmama. Grandma Mo, Grandma Ma. And um, this is knowing that these are blessings, having these options. You just have to work through them. And you will be guided. See these two cups up here versus the seven cups. Archangel Michael is going to guide you. And ancestors are going to be guiding you on understanding which cup has this magic key in it. Knight of Wands, Energy, Nine of Swords, and the World. <clears throat> Iceberg Smurge. This truth has been hidden so long. But it's coming to the surface. The truth is coming out. <coughs> Excuse me. King of Wands. Let's see what our blessings and advice are from Ancestor. Oh. Eagle Communion. King of Wands. Stay in that entrepreneurial energy. But commune with spirit, nature. Stay grounded. Meditate and transmute that energy so that you're fresh, so that you don't deplete yourself. That is the challenge that you have, is just wearing yourself out, going out after all these options. Just stay focused and take good care of yourself this time. Don't let this get to you. And then let's get this transmute energy. <laughs> Ancestors, generational healing. There went the bell. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Generation ancestors. Look at that DNA. You are solving this. Like you are going to change so many lives for the better. You are being given a quest. Let's get one more overall blessing for this. Just for doing the work. What are we going to get out of this? This is beautiful. Let's get that star, that temperance. Are you ready? Oh, Gaia nurturing. Can you make it up? You have a star. You have temperance and you have Gaia nurturing. You are so loved. The angels are just so embracing you at this time. Don't allow yourself to feel left out. Do not. Because this is a time where luck is on your sign side. Positive outcome is likely. And that boiled down to... Uh, four, which is your foundational. And then six, seven, you have an eight over here. So four and eight, 48 might be important. Truth is being revealed as the right questions are asked. Yes. Wow. I love you. Can you see the moon? Can you see it? Can you see it? I love you. Where are you? Where are you? It's very hard with the camera to figure out. There it is. To the moon and back. Thank you so much.